So here we have the bronchoscope and the functions of the bronchoscope are as follows. Here you have your control body, the eyepiece, the leak tester post, the light guide post and the controls for moving the distal tip on the end of the scope. And here we have the biopsy port for putting through your cleaning brushes and your biopsy forceps. It is important to leak test the scope prior to preparing your patient. If the scope has a perceptible leak then it shouldn't be presented to the vet. In order to check that we have no leaks, here we have the leak tester. The leak tester will fit onto the post and we inflate that to the top of the grey area which is around about 160 milligrams of mercury. That has to sit for a few seconds to make sure that the, the pointer doesn't drop. In order to make sure that the, there is no leak from the distal tip end, what we do is to manipulate the tip in both directions whilst keeping an eye on the leak tester. If that doesn't drop, then we know that the scope is safe. Release the pressure from the scope, which is important. So what we don't want to do is to put a strain on the internal workings of, of the scope. We then have to attach the light guide cable, which goes onto the side of the post here. Then that goes into your light box. Turn your power on. And there you have the light coming through the end of the, the scope.